Four-time national motocross champion Doug Henry's racing career has taken him to incredible heights and devastating lows. He's been inducted into the American Motorcycle Association's Hall of Fame and won dozens of medals and trophies over the years. But look closely. You'll see this bike is modified with a bar and strap that help him stay on. That's because four years ago, the unthinkable happened, and he was paralyzed. When I hit the wall between the bike, you know, I was stuck between the bike, uh, you know, it was, it was the end. It was the end for me. It was, it was all over. Henry's love affair with racing began when he was four, and he got his first mini bike. At 15, he entered his first race, had a mid-air collision, and broke his arm. It's amazing how quick things heal, and you forget about the pain, and you remember the excitement. After turning pro at the age of 20, Henry suffered a more serious injury, a broken back at a racetrack in Buds Creek, Maryland. I was in a lot of pain, serious pain, but my, my, my toes were wiggling, my hands were moving, so it was just a matter of time, that's all. Two years later, he was back on the track. There were more injuries, over 200 serious crashes, but he always walked away until March 4th, 2007. Beautiful day in sunny Florida, New Smyrna Speedway, uh, racing supermoto now. He lost control on a corner during practice. I knew it was over. I just, everything, just dancing. I wasn't much of a dancer, <laughs> uh, but I knew I wasn't going to be. So a lot of stuff goes through your head. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just felt bad for the family, my family, and I thought about all the things that we couldn't do or wouldn't be able to do together. And uh, and it was, it was, it was tough. It got worse. Two weeks later, his wife Stacy was diagnosed with breast cancer. It was pretty much a one-two hit right there. But together, they got through it. Henry is partially paralyzed from the waist down, but it hasn't stopped him from competing. He's modified a snowmobile and a dirt bike to race in X game competitions designed for disabled athletes. And he's winning races in his new sport. I experience so much when I'm on a motorcycle, it's, it's hard to just put away, especially if I can still do it. His wife Stacy believes in living life to the fullest but she's struggling with his return to racing. I'm scared now watching him because I feel like he's taken too many chances, I guess, you know? Like, I feel like someone is saying, hey, time to slow down, pal, and he's not slowing down. <laughs> and I can't say I ever thought he would, but um, I, I'm afraid, I'm afraid now. <laughs> As if that's not enough, last November, on the day before Thanksgiving, their home burned to the ground. Henry was away at a race, just grateful that his wife and kids were not home. Henry hopes he can motivate others whose lives have suddenly taken a detour and help them get back to doing what they love. I try and do as much as I can now and enjoy the day and um, just try to get the most out of my life. I don't want to waste time not being happy. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.